Here's how I cured H. pylori without taking antibiotics. Hi, my name's Reese. I'm a nutritionist. I work specifically with people who have reflux and they have bloating. And I have had H. pylori and I managed to kill it without taking antibiotics. Let me give you a backstory, tell you how I caught it. So I had a tooth infection. I didn't realize I had two teeth that were kind of too close together so I couldn't really floss in between and it rotted the back of my tooth, but I wasn't aware. Only until my tooth died, uh, which was like being sledgehammered to the face. I went to the, to the dentist, I had to get a, a root canal, fix that whole tooth up area when they went in, it was heavily infected. And I think that's the reason I caught H. pylori because it was only after my tooth was a mess did my stomach start feeling problematic. And for me, it was, I just couldn't eat anything. Like I wasn't getting reflux, but I just, I was full after that one or two mouthfuls of food. It was very frustrating. Anyway, it was the last thing I checked, which is a massive schoolboy error. So in my clients, it's one of the first things I check. If you've got reflux or even digestive issues in the stomach, I always check for reflux. Anyway, I did a stool test, found out that I had H. pylori. First thing I used was mastic gum. I actually used it for like a month, felt much better, stopped, and then it, didn't seem to go, so I had to use it for a longer period of time. Now, if I had H. pylori, uh, sorry, if I had H. pylori these days, I'd probably use the lactobacillus ruteri probiotic I talk about. Probably have some curcumin, some mastic gum, a few other things at the same time. But mastic gum is my number one herb for H. pylori. It worked for me. It works for many of my clients. It will probably work for you. So hopefully that's useful to you. If you like these tips, please follow along for more.